everybody, my name is Taz and I'm going to show you how to extract oil from herbs and flowers and leaves. Um, this is our um, oil extraction kit. It comes with instructions and with a cloth to extract your oil from. We also do just sell this by itself as well in store and we do sell the cloth separately as well. Um, what we're going to be working on today is lavender. So here is lavender just the, the florets, the flowers, is what we've extracted from the plant. And what we've done is, is we've rounded them up or cut them up as best as you possibly can, which we've done here. That's when you will pour the extraction oil into a glass jar, which is what we've done here. So this is the oil extraction liquid inside the jar. You need to keep that in a cupboard um, for 12 hours. Um, overnight in the, in the dark cupboard. Um, once you have done that, you can get a glass bowl and your cloth. All you need to do is simply pour the plant matter with the extraction oil into a glass bowl. And squeeze it out. You can do this up to about five times, but with experimenting, I found it is best to do it two to three times. So this is gonna be the second time that we are soaking the oil through the plant matter and we just give it a good old squeeze. and then back into the bowl. If you do have any debris in the bowl, I would suggest cleaning that out prior. So this is gonna be our last. <laughs> so just squeeze it out as best as you can. You can wear gloves, you don't have to do it barehanded like I am. And you discard the plant matter, we don't need that anymore. Then what you do is you get some cling wrap. And three quarter cover the bowl and leave it out in the sun, in the full sun. We don't want it to eva evaporate straight away. We want to make sure that we get rid of the chlorophyll in here first. Um, after about say three to four hours, check on it. If it is getting darker in color, you can remove the glad wrap and leave it out in the full sun. If you do tend to forget about it, which is what I've done myself, that's okay. Um, it will end up looking like this. If it becomes a powder, don't be worried. You can always put a few drops of extraction liquid into the mixture. But what I prefer to do is scrape the bowl, which is what came out here. Um, and then you can either apply some of this to it to make it more of a liquid. But what we found was best was to fill this with warm water and put this inside, um, whereas this became a lot more um, liquefied. And once we did that, we just got some vitamin E cream, um, which we've mixed in with this. So we just mixed the um, lavender oil in with the vitamin E cream, but we found that it was a bit tacky. So we ended up putting um, some hemp oil in here you can use olive oil or you can use macadamia oil or almond oil um, to mix it through. It's going to penetrate your skin better as well. Um, or you can also use some, some beeswax or lanolin. Um, our first trial was rosemary. Um, the rosemary is a part of the mint family um, and it has become a popular ingredient in many skin and hair products due to its antiseptic properties. Um, and the lavender makes an effective insect repellent. So you can put this on your skin prior to going out instead of getting bug, bug bites. Um, if you do happen to get bit by a bug, you can apply this to your skin and it will reduce the, the sting from the bug. Um, 
You can also mix several drops of lavender oil with a nut or vegetable mixing oil, coconut, sesame or olive oil and use on eczema and dermatitis. Um, or alternatively, you can mix your oil into a jar of vitamin E cream, um, which is this stuff here. Um, and that's, yeah, pretty much it on how to extract oil. It's just time and patience, leaving it out in the sun, um, making sure that you have got full sun coverage. If not, if it is in a shaded area under your patio, it will take a little bit longer. Um, you really aren't going to get much out of it, but what you do get out of it will be very concentrated. Um, it will basically look very caked at the bottom, so it's best to scrape it up with a scalpel um, and then apply a little bit of this or some moisturiser. Yeah. You're, you're welcome to come up and use some of this on your skin if you'd like to see how it applies on the skin and the smell of it as well. But you can pretty much use any herb that you like, flowers or leaves. Um, herbs that dry best are sage, mint, thyme, oregano, bay leaves and rosemary and lavender. But rosemary and lavender are probably the most versatile um, herbs to use, but you can always experiment um, with, with any. What I did is I purchased this book from one of the um, Sunday markets for about $3, or you can go online on Google and look up um, different herbs that you can extract the oil from. Um, but there are a lot of health benefits. You can use these in shampoos, really great for dandruff as well. Um, there, there's heaps of versatile uses for, for each of the oils. Yeah. Thank you.